Today we continue our series on Palestinians living here in East Tennessee. This morning I introduce you to a Knoxville woman who was born and raised in Palestine. She shares memories of her childhood in Palestine prior to 1948 and her hopes for the future. You see them better that way. They say home is where the heart is, and Rene Gibran's heart will always be in Palestine. This is our roots. But after more than six decades in Knoxville, Rene will tell you home can be two places at once. That's why she brought the flavors of the Middle East to East Tennessee. Why? Because it's the best food ever. <laughs> For 25 years, Renee and her late husband served up Palestinian cuisine at the Falafel Hut. When I see the place full of people, I would go into the back room and cry from happiness that people do love Palestinian food. Almost two decades ago, the Knoxville staple closed its doors. Today, Renee's recipes live in the pages of this cookbook. That's my dedication. Beginning with a dedication to her life partner and a way of giving back to those in Palestine. This is a portion of the proceeds they go to the Palestinian. My husband is an American veteran. In a way, I'm glad he's not alive to see what is all happening in Palestine, because it would have killed him earlier than his cancer. This is my mom's family in Palestine. For most of her life, Renee has carried her homeland in her heart. But for over 75 years, she has also carried pain. We get all kicked out of our homes, you know? And this is my, the saddest part of my whole life. During the Nakba, or catastrophe, of 1948, Renee and her family were forced out of their hometown. She was 11 years old, having to leave everything she knew behind. I miss my Palestine. We had good neighbors around us, Muslims, Christians, and Jewish people. My best, best friend, her mom is Jewish. And until now, we are in touch. We had a beautiful life. No worries, just happy, happy. And I see the children now in Palestine, they don't have a happy life. All they hear is bombs and shooting. In my heart, I always think Palestine will be free one day. It has to be because what's being done is very unjust and it, things have to change. You can find Renee's cookbook at Holy Land Market and Deli in Knoxville. A portion of the proceeds help Palestinian charities and children in need of operations or other medical needs. And we finished